Hello, welcome to Economics. Now, in this video, we will talk about the correlations. Correlation, it actually represents the degree of association. It does not represent or it does not explain the causation. So, let us write the formula for correlation. Correlation between x and y. This is equals to covariance of x and y. And then we write it as the square root of variance of x and the square root of the variance of y. So, we know that covariance of xy, covariance of xy equals to summation of Similarly, variance of x which is equals to s square and x. So variance of a, x it is denoted by s square x because for sample we write it as s square and for population we write it as sigma square. And this is again equal to summation of x minus x bar whole square and then divide by n minus one. Similarly, the variance of y is denoted by s square y and this is equals to y minus y bar whole square divided by n minus one. Now let us substitute this value. So let us Substitute, therefore, the correlation between x and y. This is equals to, let us write it as summation x minus x bar into y minus y bar divided by n minus 1, and then whole divided by variance of x, root under variance of x is equals to the square root of this term, so the square root of summation of x minus x bar whole square divided by n minus 1, and again, a root of the summation of y minus y bar whole square divided by n minus 1. And if we operate it, because this n minus 1 we have the square root over here, and this n minus 1 also has the square root. So both of them, they cancel this square root, and we can take out n minus 1, and this and this cancels out. So I'm trying to do it a bit directly. Therefore, correlation can be found by simply using this relationship, y minus y bar divided by root under summation of x minus x bar square, and root under summation of y minus y bar square. And this can be further. So we can further explain in summation of x, y minus n, x bar y bar divided by a root under so this can be further summation of x square minus n x bar square summation of y square minus n y bar square so we can do this so r x y so let me write is r x y or simply r the correlation is actually less than equal to one and greater than equal to minus one so in order to prove that relations first of all let us Further modify this relationship. So s is square x and then into n minus 1 into n minus 1. This can be written as summation of x minus x bar whole square. Similarly, y minus y bar whole square can be written as s square x and n minus 1. Now let us normalize or let us write the standard form of plus the both the variable x and y. So we take the variable x, variable x, and then we subtract the mean from it. And then we divide it by standard deviation. So it is yes x. So we derive the z value is x bar minus mu divided by standard deviation of x, or the value of t is equals to x minus x bar divided by standard unit of x. So we are used to with this kind of relationship. Now let us do the same for y as well. We take y and we subtract its mean and we scale it by its standard deviation. So yes y. Now let us write plus over here and then we square this. And then we take the summation of it. So as we square this, so the this term, this should be greater than zero or equal to zero. It cannot be less than zero because we are taking the square, sum of the squares. Now let us use our general formula for this, a plus p whole square, and let me write expand it. It is a square x minus x bar and yes, x whole square, a square plus two, and then summation a x minus x bar divided by s x and b y minus y bar e s y to a b and then plus b s square summation of y minus y bar and then it is e s y for the square so this is equals to summation of x minus x bar whole square and then divided by s square x plus twice so this is equals to summation of x minus x bar and then y minus y bar actually we are writing the same thing sx and then yes y plus similarly y y minus y bar whole square and then divided by yes y so if we look at this relationship we can write it as s square x and minus one in place of the numerator so this is yes square x and minus one divided by yes square x plus twice and summation of so let us write n minus one on both the sides n minus one into n minus one then after we write summation over here it does not matter then after x minus x bar y minus y bar divided by their constant esx sy plus in place of this we are going to write 
So this is y as the square y. So s is square y f minus one, and this is square of eight s square y. So they are all greater than equal to zero, greater than equal to zero, and then greater than equal to zero. So they, this cancels out. It is n minus one slash summation of x minus x bar y minus y bar divided by n minus one, and this divided by standard deviation of x and standard deviation of y. This is going to give us correlation between x and y. And I'm going to simply write it as R only. Then after we are left with n minus one. So let us let me explain it once again. Summation of let me summation of x minus x bar y minus y bar divided by m minus one. This is our covariance. Covariance divided by standard deviation of x and standard deviation of y. This results in the correlation. Then after two is over here, m minus one is over here, and correlation is there. So we are done with this. Flush and this and this is cancel out. It is m minus one is greater than or equal to zero. So if we write plus, then we get this relationship. If we write minus over here, then we we get this relationship. So it is n plus sorry. So it is n minus one and then minus two r n minus one plus n minus one is again greater than or equal to zero. Because if we write minus over here, still this entire thing is the square of something, and that must be either greater than or equal to zero. So we are preserving it. We are learning it from this relationship. Because the only difference is a minus b only square is equals to a square minus two ab plus b square. Only this sign is affected. Other, all of them are they are the same. Now let us operate it. First of all, we are going to operate this. Here n minus one is common on all common, so we are taking it common. N minus one, so n minus one and n minus one is actually twice n minus one. So two n minus one is common. So let me again write one step four. Twice n minus one plus twice r n minus one is greater than or equal to zero. We divide both the sides by twice n minus one, so one is left over here plus twice n minus one. So this cancels out, and we are left with r is greater than or equal to zero. So r plus one is greater than or equal to zero, or we can write it as r plus one is greater than or equal to zero. And let us subtract one from both the sides. Then what happens? So r is if we subtract one, this cancels out, and if we subtract one here, it becomes minus one. So r is greater than or equal to minus one. When do we use plus? Then we get this relationship. When we use minus, then we get this relationship, and let us again expand this. So twice n minus one minus twice r n minus one. This is again greater than or equal to zero, and let us divide by twice n minus one both the sides. Then here we get one minus twice n minus one. It cancels out. Is it r greater than or equal to zero? And let us add r both the sides. So if we add r both the sides, then what do we get? One. If we add r to this part, then it cancels out, and then here we get. R. Therefore, R is less than or equal to one. So if we combine them together here, R is less than or equal to one, and here R is greater than or equal to one. Therefore, the correlation is greater than or equal to minus one and less than or equal to one. This is what we wanted to prove. So this is it for this tutorial. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you very much. Economics, not